Today, we're gonna to talk about these awesome Baja Design lights that I picked up and I'm using as fog lights for my 2023 CBO Rogue Light. Today we're gonna to go over some lens options, the placement of your fog lights, and why do you need them? Before we go over those items, I wanna cover why I got them in the first place. And it's really for two simple reasons. One is I want to be seen in the daytime, and two, I want to see better at night. I know you're gonna ask, why didn't I just go with the full headlight Baja design kit that a couple of companies sell? And I must admit, I like the look that those Baja design kits have on the motorcycle, but I really like the design and look of the stock headlight right now. I'm not saying I'm not gonna upgrade this to the Baja Design kits that these companies sell, but for now, I just really like the LED outlines that the stock headlight has for these newer models. Part of the reason why I got these Baja Design lights is simply because I thought it was kind of like a happy medium. One, I could have a bunch of light when I need it through my fog light connection, and I'll cover that here. And also, I still keep the stock look. So for me, it was kind of a win-win. The Baja Design light I decided to go with is the Squadron Pro. Now this one here is rated, according to their website, to have shy of 4,100 lumens. That's a lot of lumens. So between the two here, I have shy of 8,200 lumens as soon as I turn on the bike. Boom, it is bright. While we're down here, I wanna cover some lens options. As you can see here, the lens that's currently here on the Squadron Pro provides you a beam pattern that spreads to the left, to the right, and it gives you more of a spread out kind of foggy look, right? I'm gonna be replacing this lens with this one because although I like the spread out pattern, I also want to have the two top ones give me a straight beam pattern. So that's why I got this lens. So I took it out of the bag and as you can see, the bottom here still has the same spread pattern as this one does, but the top one is clear. And what that does is it gives you two beam options. You still get the spread pattern and you get the spotlight pattern. The reason it's called the spotlight is because it's clear, as you can see here. So the light's gonna go right on through it. And as I mentioned, although I like this spread pattern on both sides, I'm actually gonna put this on here so I can get a little bit of a straight beam in combination with the spread pattern. Why am I going with that option? Well, because as you can see here on my dirty LP6, the bottom has a spread option and the top four have the spotlight option. In other words, that they're clear. So I figured might as well bring that pattern over to the Squadron Pro. Make sure you watch the end of the video because I'm gonna replace this lens with the one I showed you and we're gonna see the difference between the beam pattern options. Now let's cover the placement of your fog light. And I'll start by saying that there's not a correct place to put it or an incorrect place to put it. You could put it anywhere you want. In my case, I put it closer to the fairing over here because I wanted a tight look. But you could put it on this side, you could put it down here, you could put it out here, you could put it in here, you could put it coming up from here, you could put it anywhere in your crash bar. And for all those of you that have the straight bars, you can do the same thing as well. One of the main reasons I place my fog lights so close is really for the look because I feel that sometimes they're too far out, which is good because it gives you more broad look, I guess, when you're on the road. But I just wanted a tighter look because I'm kind of using them as a hybrid. One for fog lights, but also as a backup daytime running light. Oh, and another thing, I know some of you may be wondering why I went with the amber color versus the clear color. Either option is fine, but I like the look of the amber. And second, according to some experts online, they say that the amber color cuts through the dust or the snow at night. But don't quote me on that, look it up yourself. Man, they are bright, aren't they? Like I said, each one is rated at shy of 4,100 lumens. So what you see right now is shy of 8,200 lumens. That's crazy. Let me turn this off now. Did it turn off? Yeah, it turned off. You should consider adding some fog lights to your motorcycle for several reasons. One, you're able to be seen in the daytime and especially at nighttime. And two, which is my most important one, is you're able to see better at nighttime, especially when you're going on these long trips across the state, across the country, or even in town. In terms of how to connect your fog lights, well, that varies from motorcycle to motorcycle. With these newer model Rogue Light or Street Light Harley Davidsons, they actually have a fog light plug. All you have to do is buy the fog light um, connection, if you will, from Harley Davidson or any other companies that are out there. You just connect the positive and the negative for your fog lights, put them wherever you want, route the cables, and that's it. You got fog lights. 
In terms of how you're going to mount your fog lights, well, that varies from motorcycle to motorcycle, crash bar to crash bar, and fog light to fog light. So I would recommend definitely do your research, call some companies, see what brackets they have available for that kind of fog light that you're interested in, and go with that. In this case, I picked up some brackets from a company called Axia Alloys. Now let's go ahead and replace these lenses, and all you have to do is you loosen these four screws here. Before I take these two bolts off, let me go ahead and turn on the Squadron Pro so that way we can see the difference from the same angle with the two different lenses. The lenses came right off. These lenses, when you get them, they come with their own O-ring, but this is a brand new light, so I'm just gonna reuse that O-ring in there. You can see it right there. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two lenses. All right, there they are. So let me go ahead and turn this on. And right away, I can see that the beam pattern from the bottom is spread out like it was with the other ones, but the top one is not spreading. That's probably because it's going straight out. This is what the new lenses look like on the Squadron Pro. And again, the bottom one has the spread pattern and the top one has more of your spot pattern because the light's gonna come straight out there. Moment of truth, let's see the difference here. Let me go ahead and turn on the, uh, the motorcycle here. And I can see here from where I'm at behind the camera, I can see where there's, it's kind of a nice mixture. You have uh, a spread on the bottom and the top one looks more like of a direct pattern. Oh man, I just walked around the bike to see what they look like head on. And there's definitely a difference in the brightness of them. Now, it's the same light, it's still shy of 4,100 lumens each. So I was just staring at shy of 8,200 lumens. But the difference with these lenses here, because the top ones are like clear and they're more of a spot pattern that they call it, and the bottom is spread. The top two, man, it's like, it's in my, it's in my brain, like it's, it's bright. Again, the nice thing about these being uh, fog lights is that I can turn them on or turn them off as I wish. So for example, if I'm going in a residential neighborhood, like my neighborhood here, I just go into my setting here and I turn it off and it's just the regular beam pattern from the top. Well, I guess they turned on here, but it would just be the regular headlight that's here. If you don't have that option for your motorcycle, these Squadron Pros come with a harness that I believe you can connect to your battery, and there's a toggle switch to turn it on and off, and you can connect them that way if you want to. And that is a comparison for the two lenses and the differences that they provide in terms of lighting. Let me know down in the comments if you think this is a nice addition. Also, if you like the placement of it, or if you don't, or if it looks better with those flat bar uh, crash bars, if that maybe looks better as well. But let me know, because I'm kind of curious. And as I mentioned before, I like the Baja kits that these companies sell. I just, I'm not there yet because I really like the look of this. And I know there's uh, the S2 options, there's the S1 option that you can get for these fog lights and they work really, really well. But I just wanted the biggest option I could for a fog light. And in this case, I went with the Squadron because your boy was trying to fit some LP4s which you need a different harness for that and that's a, just a whole situation by itself. So I figured that the Squadron Pro um, was a good fit for me and I'm very happy with it. The other thing I like about these is that at nighttime when you're riding, the beam pattern is so, so wide that it looks like you have underglow lights, but you don't. And, uh, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna plug that video in here. But besides that, you guys be good, have a good one. And uh, let me know if you guys are gonna do any winter projects because we might, so stay tuned.